my luck take this away. Alright, um my um, you know, I'd just like to kind of dedicate this to everybody that came before us, and this is for you guys. We want to make sure that you guys are proud, that you guys can look down on us and say you guys are doing a great job and Home Christ is living on for generations to come. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Brad. This project ran actually really smooth because of the leadership and the support from all the board members they here today um, to supporting us, you know, uh, all the board members. Thank you so much. As well, okay, thank you. Um, next, I would like to introduce you know, a few guests. Uh, first, we would like to invite our very own Senator Yuan Chu, one of the legislative champion of EBC 30 million investment in AAPI community. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning Home Crest. Good morning. Uh, today is really truly a beautiful, beautiful day and I'm so glad to see Homecrest expand their service down here from Southern Brooklyn from Shipset Bay, Diker Heights, Bensonhurst, now to Sunset Park. This is majority Asian American families down here. We really need those services. And for organizations like Homecrest, having decades and decades of reputation, providing service, take care of our seniors, providing social service, make sure our family got served, our prop, their problem will be solved, resolved, and their family will be taken care of. I need partners like Homecrest on the ground serve with me, and they are here now. It's truly my pleasure, my good, good news. I have great partner also here in Sunset Park to expand more service down here. And I'm truly happy to see so many friends over here. I pretty much know every one of you. You are the partners on the ground serving with me and that's work it all together. Not just secure more funding, but also pass more legislation, bring it back more resource for our families. So I truly want to thank this opportunity and Greg, great job. Thank you. I appreciate you carry the lions, uh, the lion dance, uh, pick up the uh, tradition from uh, our Don Lee's legacy. I really appreciate your leadership and thank you for uh, picking up Uncrest and we will continue to serve together. So on behalf of our state senate, I have a citation for the board. So thank you the and board. congratulations. The board, the board. Let's show your face. Okay? <laughs> board. your work has been done in Albany is very crucial for us. That's one thing important to promote the well-being of the AAPI community. Thank you. Next, I would like to give my assembly member, Grace Lee. She is also a co-chair of New York Assembly Asian Pacific Task Force. She also bent very hard to secure 30 million for the AAPI community. Thank you, assembly woman. Good morning, Brooklyn. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Assemblymember Grace Lee. I proudly represent Lower Manhattan, which includes Manhattan's Chinatown. But uh, it's so nice to be here with the Brooklyn community. As a co-chair of the Asia Pacific American Task Force in the Assembly, I've worked very hard with Senator Chu and other colleagues, including Assemblymember Lester Chang, uh, to make sure that our Asian community is seen and heard in Albany. And what does that mean? That means we've had record funding over the last two years for Asian American communities. Much of that funding going to Homecrest to continue their services here in the community. That means making Lunar New Year a statewide school holiday. What? Bringing the governor to Southern Brooklyn to celebrate this momentous occasion. We are now the first state in the country to make Lunar New Year school holiday. And this year, we, all schools will be closed in January when it um, when Lunar New Year comes. So very proud to help represent this community to make sure that we have all the resources we need. I want to give a big shout out to Y.E. whose vision and leadership made this happen here in Sunset Park. To Gregory Gong and the rest of the board uh, for their hard work. 
And um, I think I would re be remiss to not uh, to also recognize um, uh, Don Lee, um, our friend, um, our incredible leader, who we miss so much every day, and uh, who helped make Homecrest the incredible organization it was. So thank you all. Thank you, Assembly Woman. At Homecrest, we couldn't have done without the state AAPI funds. Next, I would like to invite Assembly Member Lester Chang, a Navy veteran, and representing AD49. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Wei Chang. Thank you for your promotion to be uh, chairman and uh, the president. The chairman and I'm the C CEO. CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Ch chairman is the other okay. one. It's chairman. my boss, actually. Right, thank you. But we have to build on the legacy of uh, our late uh, Don Lee, who has his vision to start off with. And and Gregory and uh, Wei, you built on the next, next legacy at, at this point. You know, 50 years ago, uh, my family has a home in Midwood and grew up on that. It was nothing like this right now, 50 years ago. So I'm so proud and so happy that our community has grown beyond this and, and recognize the needed service that we have. It's important that I call this Brooklyn Chinatown to make sure, hey, Gracie, sorry about Chinatown, but Manhattan Chinatown, which is the original, I think we can basically confidently say that we do have a Brooklyn Chinatown to recognize. Our population has been growing. AAPI represents about 12% of the population in New York City, which is almost a million people. That's a lot, that's significant in itself. So, and uh, Homecrest recognized this with Don Lee's vision, he knows our community is growing, recognizes this, and, and with this community, with this services, they've grown to our fourth uh, fourth uh, offices right now to service our needs. And thank you very much uh, for this. I know there's a lot of hard work, and your staff, because this is not easy work. You might think it looks very nice, but it's a lot of hard work, a lot of midnight uh, burning hours to, to get this thing done, to bring this uh, celebration on, on uh, and also to recognize that. And I do have a citation. You have a board member come around. So we had to uh, commemorate this uh, event here. Who do we have here? Okay, come on. It's the boy. It's the boy. <laughs> okay, one more thing I would like to, if I don't want to re remiss a credit, uh, Senator Chu uh, and uh, Grace Lee to delete this, make sure it has proper funding itself, so hopefully it be, be continuous itself, so I don't want to remiss their, their credit itself. But thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Assembly Member Lester Chang. Thank you so, so much. Okay, next I would like to invite Councilwoman Alexa Willis, representing Council District 38, part of Sunset Park. Oh, by the way, congratulations on the B006 test yesterday, right? Yes, right, 006, intro 006, if I remember correctly. Yes. You, you did great, as usual. Good afternoon, everyone. I am so excited to be here. Uh, I'm Alexa Viles, uh, City Council Representative of District uh, 38. And first I have to say, Don is smiling down today, giving us this beautiful day, and I know he is so proud um, of all the work that has gone into his legacy. And I wanna make sure that all of you who are out here today commit to continue supporting Homecrest and all the staff because the work is not easy, but we depend on your support. So can I hear a big, loud cheer for Homecrest? Yeah. Are we gonna support Homecrest? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. All right, <laughs> every single day we wanna continue to support Homecrest and the board so that we can support our families. So on behalf of the New York City Council, congratulations to you all, congratulations to the board. We will continue to do our part to support the growing AAPI, beautiful and diverse community throughout New York City. And it's just a true honor and pleasure to be here. Let's build the New York we deserve, the New York that we love, the New York that is diverse and is born of immigrant generations, of black generations, of Latino, of all mixes from all over the world. So thank you so much. This is a welcoming New York. 
We love you, and we love Home Press. Congratulations. Thank you. Just wanted to share with you, we do have a Spanish speaker, you know, as a staff here, over here, Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow. I need to hire Yeah, he speaks Spanish and Chinese. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So, um, uh, today's, you know, the grand opening um, can can be done without, you know, the help of, you know, NYPD. So, uh, may I have the honor to uh, invite your chief to say a few words. <laughs> Commander Officer of Patrol Movement South. So, good morning all and thank you. Thank you, Greg. Greg and all the board members for making this happen. I'm privileged to be here for the ribbon cutting of Home Press. I think this is great for the community. And just know, the New York City Police Department will always support um, you know, uh, something vital like this for the community, and this is great. So once again, congratulations to all. Thank you all for being here. This is a very uh, important event, a monumentous event, so thank you. Thank you so much, Chief. And may I have uh, Deputy Inspector Andy Lau to say a few words to our community partners. Mr. Lau. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Deputy Inspector Lau, Commanding Officer of the 62nd Precinct. I just wanted to tell everybody that myself and my members have had a long-lasting relationship with Homecrest. It's organizations such as Homecrest that lets our local precinct connect with the community that we serve, uh, whether it's through crime prevention seminars or any other seminars that we do at your shop. So we look forward to working together with uh, all the different branches, and good luck and thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Inspector Lau. So, uh, Lenny from Congressman Dan Goldman's office, would you like to say a few words? Thank you. Make it short, okay? Because we are standing outside over here, right? Oh, of course we. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, on behalf, I'm here on behalf of Congressmember Dan Goldman, who is in Washington, D.C. today, uh, to extend his congratulations to the home press community, to the board. Gregory, congratulations for becoming the chairman. And, uh, and the way Yi Chan, who we you always know is a fighter, you're always proactive. You and we we're looking forward to uh, partner with you now that you have a presence in Sunset Park. Watch out for our case referrals. <laughs> <laughs> we're ready for that. <laughs> Just want to share with you, we have a soft opening on last Friday, you know, three days in a row. So we serve 25 constituents, you know, 45 cases, soft opening only. So we are expecting more. But this is, cannot be done with orders, you know, equity budget. Okay, thank you. Um, also, we would like to call uh, Ravi, our good friend, Ravi. Yes. Look at that, you have fans over here. Senior advisor from Office of the U.S. Senator, Christine Gillibrand. Oh, thank you so much for having me. The Senator wishes she could be here to share in this momentous moment, but uh, we are working, she's, you know, in D.C. working very hard to pass critical legislation that really has Homecrest fingerprints all over it. And it's so happy, to, I'm so happy to see Don Lee's legacy living on and not skipping a beat in the incredible work that you're doing. Meanwhile, the Senator's working on passing an Older Americans Act that will fund and uh, address nutrition shortages in the senior community. It'll address and provide legal assistance to address elder abuse. Uh, we're also working on a farm bill that's going to address um, you know, nutrition access and the food pantry work that is so critical to our seniors and our marginalized communities. So thank you again, and we're hoping to continue to support your work for a long time to come. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Uh, before we close, before closing, I would like to shout out for our advocacy groups, uh, which is AAF. I saw, you know, Executive Director Joanne is here, and CACF Andrea is here. Your tireless effort for helping us to fight and ensuring the credible funding for AAPI community is deeply appreciated. Joanne, you want to say a few words? Come on up. Let's go, Joanne! Our, she is actually our fighter. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's an honor for me to be here. I will tell you, it, it's a little emotional for me uh, because Don was a really close friend and I could call him up anytime and he would pick up the phone and I'd say, what are you doing? And he said, it's 2 a.m. in Hong Kong, why are you calling me? But we would talk and so I, I come here and I am very um, emotional and sentimental because I miss them tremendously. But I'm excited to work with the new board, the new board chair, 
but I also know Wei Yi. She's gonna. She has been doing an amazing job. I'm so proud of her. We are the we are the research people. I want to give you guys some numbers. Asian Americans are the fast. Asian American seniors are the fastest growing senior population in the state. We are also the poorest senior population of the state, which means all of us. We have a lot of fighting. We have a lot of advocacy to go. And I know it's the elected officials' job, and it's our job. But all of you who are here, you have to join us to raise your voice to say we demand better, we deserve better, and that's how we move forward. Thank you, Homecrest. Congratulations. And I'm so happy to see everybody. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Okay, last but not least, And Andre from CAACF. Can you please come up? Thank you. Hi, thank you everyone. Um, just want to congratulate Homecrest and especially the amazing and tremendous staff that we've had a long time partnership and privilege to work with. We really are welcome you also to Sunset Park. Personally, I live in Sunset Park, so I'm also a resident. Okay. In addition uh, to working in coalition with you, so we congratulate you. We're happy to be here today. Thank you. You'll be one of our constituents, right? <laughs> So next, uh, I would like to you know, have Nicole Mann from uh, Brooklyn DA's office to say a few words. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Nicole Mann from Brooklyn DA's office. Uh, I'm very honored to be here to celebrate we're Homecrest having a new brand new Sunset Park location and uh, we're looking forward to work with Homecrest in the future. Um, one big news is we're going to have a workshop on uh, uh, called pig butchering and also it's, it's, some, uh, it's related to a very hot topic currently happening in this neighborhood which is the crypto coin scan. So um, the date I remember is not, uh, September 27 at 10.30 a.m. at Sunset Park in her location. If everyone has time, please welcome to join us. Uh,大家好,我叫Nicole Thank you so much, Nicole, from the DA office. Uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, former Assemblyman uh, Peter Bali. You want to say a few words or uh, just say hi? Uh, how about our district leader has been served the committee for 35 years? Okay, thank, you. thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. Um, in addition, I would like to thank all the community leaders you're here, here today. I want to shower some of the community leaders that have been helping us, you know, day in and day out, you know, for this, you know, ceremony. Louie Lou! Whoa! Thank you, big brother. Louie Lou, Janice Yang, always supporting side. Wei Jing Shi, saw you. Alan Chang, our accountant. And um, I saw I saw uh, Richard May is over here, and Jimmy Lee, and Master William Paul. I saw Kenny Quant somewhere, right? Oh, yes, yes. And Michael Fong is all our community partners, Scott, Ed, Ed Lai, Hi. and Andy To, and Paul Lee, all those community partners. You know, coming to stop on us. I know you have a busy schedule today, and all those and all the you know healthcare you know providers. Oh, Anson from UCA, thank you so much, hi Anson, and Nicole Fong from PCR, all our community partners, and also from GEC. Okay, Joe. Okay, thank you so much for coming here to support us, of course, you know, if I did not mention your name, I apologize for that. Um, and Lisha from AF. <laughs> Alright, uh, did I miss anyone? If not, then um, we're going to go in and it's not a big office, it's not a big center, but you will love it, okay? It's every decoration you'll see that is from our heart. It's all handmade, I'm telling you, okay? We put every single piece up on the wall. This is our family in this community. All right. Um, I'm not sure if Councilwoman Susan Swan is on her way, or you want to say a few words on behalf? Hi, good morning. My name is Ada. I'm representing Councilwoman Susan John's office. Thank you for inviting us. And you know, Susan's always here, but unfortunately, she's doing the meeting. 
that congratulations to Homecrest. You do all the, you're always doing the best and serving our senior citizens here. And no matter where you're here or in Bensonhurst. Thank you. So uh, congratulations again, and have uh, and everybody wishing you a good health and a happy moon festival. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. We need your office support, okay? All right, we need funding. We need money. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, we're going to go in. Because it's a small, uh, you know, center. You could go in and go down, and refreshment actually is downstairs, okay? All right, or you can take pictures with us, you know, do whatever you want. And thank you, NYPD, of course, you know, we have, you know, uh, the street closer. That's why we're going to have a party over here. All right, let's go. All right, oh my goodness, okay. Just hold on for one second. Our city council woman, Susan Swan, District 43, we've been waiting and waiting, waiting for you. Okay, let's say a few words. Thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry I had a hearing in City Hall today, just to rush back. All right, you're in City Hall? Today? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and uh, congratulations to Homecrest. Um, I see there's a one more community center opened up. It's exciting for the community. And I just run here. It's okay, it's okay. Take a deep breath, okay? Yeah. And also I want to congratulate not only Homecrest, all, all our community. The more service we have in our community, more better work for our people. And uh, also, I'm looking forward to working with Homecrest and also see more beautiful things happen in the community. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you make it. Finally, you make it. Okay? It's okay. All right. Take a deep breath. Good, right? So please proceed to take a look, you know, the center. And we have some constituents' cases, you know, going on, I believe, right, Lisa? Right? So. Go in and enjoy the food and that's mango. All right? Don't leave. Okay, you see MIP they already blocked the screen. You cannot leave. All right? Thank you.